Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, I have already discussed about that things with you. If you want to delete that your product from your product list page, how can do that work? So we successfully delete it from to this position. In this video, I want to discuss about the show page. If you click on the show page, it should be redacted to another page with all that our information. Okay, so how can do that work? In this video, I will show you that things with a live example. For doing this, we have to do, we have to define one of the route, right? So that is exactly the same procedure we have to flow. So now go to our index and into the index that is our action and you can see that is our route. So also here we have to um, define that with ID. So better I just copy it and here I just simply paste it. And now I want to do, I want to create one of the URL as a show. Okay, I just simply define as a show product and with also a specific one of the ID, right? Because here I want to show it a specific one of the ID page. So that is the ID product. So that is our show. So now we have to do, we have to create this URL in our web route. Go to our web route. Friend, I think you already know about it, what exactly you have to do. So now that is our URL. So here I have to defining it. So I just simply define the show product with a specific ID. So I just simply define as a show product with a specific one of the ID in our product controller. I want to do, I want to create one of the method as a show. I just simply define one of the method as a show. So now we have to create this method as a show method in our product controller. Now go to our product controller. And after the delete here, I will define as a public and then function our method name. I want to create as a show. And also we have to show our with a specific one of the ID. So here I define one of the ID. So I just simply define one of the ID in particular that position as an ID. Perfect. So into the show, what exactly I want to do? I want to get a specific all that our fast data, right? So I want to get a specific one of the fast ID data. So we just did the same thing. So when you up get on a specific one of the fast data, then you have to use that fast, right? So now I want to do the same thing. So here I take one of the variable like as a data. And now I just simply define the DB and then table, sorry. And I just define the table from which table I want to get it. I want to get our fast data from our products table. So I just simply copy that products table. And now here I just simply define that products table. And into the products table, we have to define that condition, the same things friend. So I just simply define that where condition, our product ID, that means in our products table, they have one of the field as ID. So this ID will be matched with our requested ID. So now I just simply define that requested ID. So when it should be matched, then I want to do, I want to get that fast data. So I just simply define as a fast. Okay, I just simply define that fast data. So I take our fast data and take the things with this variable. So now it's simple. I want to return that data in our one of the page. So I just simply define the return one of the view page. So I want to return it one of the view page. Where exactly our view page? I have already created in our product table that is our show, right? So now I just simply define our product. Okay, that means on a product folder, I have already created one of the page as a show page. Here I want to pass it. So if you want to pass that all data, then you have to do, you have to compact it, right? So I just take all the data, take the things with this variable. Now I pass it with this compact. So I just simply pass it. So now I can access our this fast specific data in our show page, right? Cause I just compact it. So now we have to do, we have to work in our show page. So now go to our show page. So right now this is totally blank. So better, you know, edit into the edit uh, like this part will be needed that extension so i just simply define that extension and also we have to end that section sorry so i just simply end that section as a and and section perfect so now here i want to do i want to load our some of the design page like if you go to the edit page uh, like in our edit page they have some of the row so i want to take this row okay i just copy it I have already discussed about that things with you what exactly the things I want to do. So I just name it as a show product. Okay, show product page. And then there is a pull right, there is a back. If you now click on the save all, and now if you go here and refresh it again, now click on the show. Yeah, you can see that there is a show product with a specific one of the ID, that means the requested ID and the back button. So here I want to designing it. Okay, so here 
that is our row so after this okay after this here i take one of the another row i just take one of the another div and here i define that as a class as a row class and then i take another div so here i define one of the class i just define another class as a call okay i just define as a call access so access and the 12 but i take as a 12 because i want to make the things as a total so i define that part maybe hmm, that is actually the class you can see that is actually the same class so better i just copy it i want to access it so here i define that class and i just put the things as a 12 because i want to make as a full white so i just simply define as a 12 okay and now here i will define after that there is a one of the div and i just define the div class and here i define as a form group okay i just define as a form group and into the form group here i define of the strong and here i want to define as a product okay i name it as a product name so that is will be the product name into the product name i want to display our product name so if you go to our controller i get all all that fast data and take that things with this variable right and also i pass it in our compact in our show page so now with this data we can access that our fast data right so now i can access it with this data so now go to our show page and here i want to display our product name so if you want to display it like here with this data i want to display our product name so for the product name i have already one of the field so our field name as a product name better i just go to that structure so that is our product name field data will be visible so i just simply added that product name perfect so now i want to take another part that means this one okay so that is another one i want to take uh, like there is our another day row so here i paste it we have the another one so another one will be as a product code so i just simply define that product code and for the product code i have already one of the field as a product code i just copy it and here i just simply define our product code perfect with this data i want to display that product code and then our details that means the product details okay i just simply define as a product details so now for the product details i have the field i have field as a details so i just simply copy the details and now here i just simply define the details perfect and also there is another one for the image so i just copy it and then our image so i just define as a product image and for the product image if you want to display it then you have to define with the images so i just simply define the image image src and with the image src you have to define as a url so we have already discussed about that things with you url and the two two and here we have to define i get all the data with this data right so with this data i want to do and to visible our field name our field name for the images as a logo so i just simply added that image as a logo perfect also if you put some of the white height you can add that white height like i just put as a height height as a 150 pixel because here there have a lot of spaces and also i define that white white i just define as a um, like uh, 200 okay i just define as a 200 pixel perfect so friend i think you can well understand about it from here i get our specific all the data and i pass it so now i can access it in our show page and to the show page with this data i display our logo i display the details field i display the code and the our product name okay so now if you click on the save all and now if you go here and now i just click on the go back refresh it again click on the show yeah you can see that is our product name is visible product code is visible product details is now visible and also product image is visible and if you go back click on the show again yeah it's now perfectly visible so now you can see it's now perfectly visible in particular that area so friend now we can actually insert some of the product so we can insert some of the product um we can insert it i guess copy it and here i insert some of the product with the images so with the images now you can insert okay now you can see in you insert successfully you can edit this product if you want to delete it you can delete it also if you want to click on the show page it's now redirected to our details page with a specific requested id 
perfect and also like they have the right now the four data so if you also want to add the designation so how can add that designation in our next video i will show you that things with a live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video